How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Nintendo Direct leak discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at a leaked supposed Nintendo Direct which is going to occur on April 11th as well as everything that is going to appear on this upcoming Nintendo Direct. However, as always and I cannot stress this enough, we have no idea if this leak is true or not, so make sure you guys take it with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. If you'd like to hear while I talk, you can find a link to the original post in the description bar down below, and now with all that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where all this information came from. So guys, this leak was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Discord server, so if you guys haven't already joined up, you can find a link to it in both the description as well as the pinned comment. Now, the leak that we are going to be taking a look at today comes from 4chan, and it is a text post leak. However, before we go ahead and take a look at that, I just want to remind you guys that once we hit 20,000 subscribers, we are going to be doing another Lax Chris Official Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament, in which I will actually be giving away a gift card to the winner of the tournament. However, guys, the only way that you guys can enter is if you are subscribed to the channel, so make sure you guys subscribe and hit that notification bell. And now, guys, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at this brand new leak. So, guys, like I said, this leak comes from 4chan, and it is titled Nintendo Direct April 18th, and it is posted by Anonymous. It starts by saying, hey, guys, before I get started, let me just say that I know most people aren't going to believe this, and that's okay. You aren't obligated to believe anything I say in this post. I myself don't have any affiliation with Nintendo, but I do have a source on the inside. So without further ado, let's get started. There will be a Nintendo Direct on April 11th. It will have a semi-large section on Super Mario Maker 2, similar to how the latest February Direct had a section on Fire Emblem, and it will be around 35 minutes long. It will be hosted by Reggie fils as a sort of send-off. The Direct starts off with a semi-big reveal. We're shown a globe spinning in space with the words, Your Life, Your World, and it then zooms in to show a bunch of Mii characters with familiar faces. Reggie, Miyamoto, and even Doug Bowser doing crazy shenanigans such as race car driving, parachuting, and people crashing dinner parties. Tomodachi World, the sequel to the popular 3DS title, is set to release in fall of 2019. Reggie then comes on screen and introduces us to the April Nintendo Direct, and he talks a bit about Tomodachi World. He talks about his retirement and how he's glad he could be in one of the last directs before he leaves. We then transition to Nintendo Switch headlines. I'll go through them quickly. The first of three free DLC packs is announced for Super Mario Party. We get two boards named Cloudtop Kingdom and King Boo's Frightful Manor and three brand new characters being Pauline, Spike, and Baby Mario. The update will release on May 3rd. SNES games are also coming to Nintendo Switch Online with their own app. They show off Super Mario Kart, Kirby's Dream Land 3, Pilot Wings, and Super Punch-Out, but they say that many more will be available when the service launches on May 1st. They then show off some more gameplay of Cuphead, reminding us to pick the game up on April 18th. We then get some more information on Box Boy and Box Girl, including the fact that we're getting a Box Boy set of Amiibo. However, they will be different from the exclusive Japan Box Boy Amiibo. The set includes a QB Amiibo, a Kisi Amiibo, and a Quiddy Amiibo, all releasing with the game on April 26th. Pikmin 3 is being ported to the Switch as Pikmin 3 Deluxe. They don't show off anything new, besides how the game works without the Wii U gamepad of course, and it will release on May 31st. Terraria is shown off for the Switch. We're not told much about besides the fact it's coming out in the summer. Headlines are then paused to go into the Super Mario Maker 2 section, which lasts give or take about 8 minutes. Here's some of the new things added. 2 player co-op is in the game. You will be able to play as Luigi, Toad, or Toadette. New items are also added, and the ones shown off are the Penguin Suit, Acorn Suit, Boomerang Suit, Frog Suit, Super Crown, and the already shown off Cat Suit. Each level theme, desert, forest, etc. has a night mode that can be turned on. Yoshi can be shook to give him the different properties. Red for Fire Breath, Yellow for Glow in the Dark, etc. 
New enemies including Pokey, Spike, and Bonsai Bill to name a few. The level finding system has been completely reworked to be able to search by name. Save levels you like to your own folder section and then you'll be able to send levels directly to friends. And finally, there will be a Super Mario Maker 2 Switch bundle with one yellow Joy-Con and one red. That and the bundle release on June 14th. Back to headlines, Luigi's Mansion 3 is shown off a little. We see Luigi controlling an elevator, jumping across a pool area full of debris, and saving EGAD from a great fall. The game is supposedly called Luigi's Mansion's Tomb Service, and the name was apparently leaked a few months back, so I don't know if that person actually has insider info, or they just made a lucky guess. The game is set for October. Next up, Demon X Machina is talked about for a bit, showing off some action but not much. It's set for an August release date. Smash Ultimate Update 3.0 is shown next. They revealed the return of Stage Builder and Home Run Contest, and teased that more modes might return in the future. We also get a trailer for Joker. 3.0 and Joker will release on April 12th, the day after the Direct. An almost shadow drop, but not quite I suppose. The second DLC fighter is not revealed in this Direct. I've heard some rumblings about there being two announced at E3, but I cannot be sure. Untitled Goose Game, now called Titled Goose Game, yes I'm serious, is given a place in the Direct. They show off some of the addictive destructive gameplay, and it's planned for a September release. The Direct then cuts back to Reggie, who asks us if we're enjoying the Direct. He says he has one last announcement, but to make sure we stay until the very end. We finally get the reveal of Animal Crossing Switch. We're given the beautiful HD graphics and shown multiple jobs, new tools and items like kites, and shown new villager species like bats and lemurs. I'm a bit of an Animal Crossing fan if you couldn't tell. No title yet, but it's set for a September release. The Direct then fades to the familiar thanks for watching, but before it cuts away we hear, is he gone? Doug Bowser walks on screen. I know what you guys have been asking for and I'm here to give it to you. We're shown the Switch click before they reveal Earthbound Remastered Trilogy, including Earthbound Beginnings, Earthbound, and Mother 3 all remastered in HD. We get a winter release window. So now that we've gone over the entire post, let's talk about it a little bit. So guys, the first thing that I want to say is wow, this is a ton of information and I'm glad that someone took the time to go through all of this if this does end up being real because now we know everything that is going to appear on the Nintendo Direct. However guys, remember, this guy does not offer up any proof as to why this is real, so make sure you guys take it with a grain of salt. However, even the people in the comments, which from what I've seen is unprecedented, believe that this is a perfect Direct and something that is very likely to happen. However guys, just remember to take it with that grain of salt, and remember we aren't going to talk about every single game in this direct because I don't want this video to be super long, so let's go ahead and talk about the headlines. Now, one of the things that I really like about this leak right off the bat is they're giving a Nintendo Direct to Reggie to say his goodbyes. Now, I'm sure that all of you guys already know this, but for those of you guys who don't, Reggie fils is officially retiring and he is going to uh, pass the torch onto Doug Bowser as the new president of Nintendo of America. I really like how Reggie leads most of the Direct and then at the end Doug Bowser comes on and announces a really big game and I just think that's really cool overall so hopefully it does end up happening. And now guys with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about the games. So first of all guys, let's go ahead and talk about probably the headline of this entire Nintendo Direct being Super Mario Maker 2. Now, as you guys already know, Super Mario Maker 2 was officially announced with a June 2019 release window, but on this leak, it claims that the game is going to be released on June 14th. Now, I think that this is really interesting and definitely a possible release date, because as you guys already know, on June 11th until June 14th, we have the upcoming E3, so it does make a lot of sense for Nintendo to let people demo the game as well as show it off during the Nintendo Treehouse events, so that way they can get more people to purchase the game when it releases a few days later. In terms of all the new game information that we got from this leak, I think that everything that appeared on this leak is going to end up being in the game. Two-player co-op is definitely something that should be in Mario Maker, just because two-player co-op as well as co-op in general is basically a staple in Mario games at this point. 
Not only that, but all of the new items, level themes, and the new enemies just make a ton of sense. So I do think that even if this leak ends up being false, a lot of this is still going to appear in the game. Next up, apparently SNES games are also coming to Nintendo Switch Online with their own app, and obviously this makes a ton of sense because we already have the NES on Nintendo Switch Online, and they are going to want to push SNES to try and get more people to purchase Nintendo Switch Online. Now, obviously, if you want to play games online, you already do have to purchase the online subscription, but I know people who haven't already purchased it, so maybe this is just Nintendo's way of saying, look, this is a great thing to buy just because you'll have access to all these games, along with the online service, so it definitely makes sense that it should be coming to Switch Online very soon. Next up, apparently Pikmin 3 is going to be ported to the Nintendo Switch as Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Now, honestly guys, this is something I really hope doesn't happen, just because if that's true, that means that Pikmin 4 is probably being delayed again. Now, I understand that Pikmin 3 is already done, and a lot of people didn't play it on the Wii U, just because the Wii U didn't sell a lot of units, but I really hope once again this doesn't end up happening, because if it does, that means Pikmin 4 is getting delayed even longer, and for all of you avid Pikmin fans out there, like myself, we just really don't want to end up see the, seeing this happening, just because we want Pikmin 4 as soon as possible. After that, apparently we are going to get some more information about Luigi's Mansion 3. We get the title being Luigi's Mansion Tomb Service, which once again, we have already talked about before. This was leaked a while ago, and a lot of people at this point believe that that is going to end up being the name. Now, in terms of the gameplay, Luigi can apparently control an elevator, jump across a pool full of debris, and saves Egad from a great fall. Now, obviously, of course, we're going to get characters like Egad back in Luigi's Mansion, just because he is a staple at this point, but one of the things I'm a little bit confused about is whether or not we are going to have co-op as well as other playable characters. Now, it was leaked a little while ago that people believe that we are going to be able to do co-op as well as play as Mario, Peach, and Toad, and it would make sense overall just because you just have to change Luigi's model a little bit, that way you can play as other residents as the Mushroom Kingdom in Luigi's Mansion 3. Next up, we have some brand new Smash Ultimate information. Now, obviously, we have talked about this a ton on the channel, but for those of you guys who didn't already know, it was leaked that Stage Builder as well as Home Run Contest are going to be available in version 3.0. Along with that, we are finally going to be getting our trailer for Joker, showing off his gameplay, as well as a release date of the next day being April 12th. Now, this makes a ton of sense, just because at this point, we already know that uh, 3.0 is coming sometime in April, but we don't have a date locked in yet, and putting it on a Saturday makes a lot of sense, so that way as many people as possible can enjoy it the second it comes out. After that, apparently we are finally going to get the reveal of Animal Crossing Switch. Now, we don't have any information on Animal Crossing as of now, we just know that it is going to be released sometime in 2019. However, getting some new gameplay shown off as well as new villager species and items makes a lot of sense and I really do hope that this ends up happening just because I need to know what's going to be in Animal Crossing before I decide whether or not I am going to purchase it. Now, I am not an avid Animal Crossing fan by any means, but I do look forward to this game just because if it does have a lot to offer, I'll definitely be picking it up. And finally guys, we are going to be getting the official transition of Reggie over to Doug Bowser when Doug Bowser comes on screen at the end of the Direct and says that we are going to be getting the Earthbound Remastered Trilogy. Now, for those of you guys that don't already know, Mother 3 is a game that is wanted by so many Earthbound and Mother fans out there. Originally, it was a Japanese exclusive, so we, we cannot play it over here in the West. Well, legally that is, you can download ROMs of it. Uh, that have English subtitles and stuff, but a lot of us really want to see it uh, like officially come to the United States. Now, I really do like how it's getting remastered in HD, just because we haven't had an Earthbound or Mother game in such a long time. However, Ness and Lucas are such popular Super Smash Bros. Ultimate characters, so it would make sense if we actually got a game for them coming up. Hopefully this does end up happening, and although I really would like a new Mother or Earthbound game, I'd be just as happy with a remastered trilogy. So guys, before I go ahead and tell you guys whether or not I believe that this league is real, I do need to tell you guys something pretty important. Now, obviously if you guys made it to the end of the video, either you really enjoy hearing me talk, or you just fell asleep, but either way, I'd really appreciate it if you guys just took a second and went to the description and checked out my Patreon page. 
Now, for those of you guys who don't know, YouTube is once again going through another adpocalypse, and YouTube is currently my job. I am a full-time student, but YouTube is how I make my income, so if you guys want to help me out a little bit more than you already are just by watching this video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys went into the description and checked out my Patreon page. You never feel obligated to donate, guys, but if you want to help me out a little bit more, there is the best place to do so. However, guys, overall, do I believe that this league is real? Honestly, at this point, yeah, I do. Everything on this league makes a ton of sense, and honestly, I don't understand why anyone would go through all the trouble of typing this out just to make a couple of people confused about when the next Nintendo Direct was going to be. If there actually is a Nintendo Direct announced on April 11th, this is definitely what we are going to be seeing. However, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments section down below. Do you guys believe that this league is real, and would you be happy if it was? Why or why not? Thank you guys all so much for watching, make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.